Hello, I'm Hatrix, and this is going to be take two since it's a very good idea to have your mic turned on. So today I'm going to have a discussion video where we're going to discuss uh, spellcasters and I guess why they're so popular, also melee hybrid builds and where all the pure strength users are. And Hatrix, but there's a lot of good melee builds. And yeah, but is this really the solution for melee builds right now? Um, that is also something we can discuss in the comments. I would like to have. Uh, I would love to if this is good game balance. Uh, I have a quick. I could. I could give a quick answer, but uh, more on that later. <laughs> so, where is pure strength? At least in my opinion, and there's probably some very, very strong strength users out there. I haven't seen them. Uh, I've seen a few whirlwind boys. I've seen maybe one dragon warrior, and he. Maybe bad gear, but didn't perform that well. Seen a few whirlwind boys, uh, seen single minded fury boys, but besides that, I mean, right now it's mostly mental quickness users and spellcasters. So maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it's what's what I have uh, viewed. But this video I want to just put out. There's no like real direction or uh, bigger conclusion besides that I want to discuss. Maybe have a solution for how strength users can be improved, so we can get that back on the menu because heavyweight, dragon warrior, all of these cool, like pure strength, pure warrior builds have, I guess, been missing uh, from my view. And especially when I have to, I'm in the making of my melee video from guide what you can be starting on and go what direction for, if you really want to play melee stuff. And this is where it opened my eyes. And often when I make the, the build guide and talked about a build, I, was, I often ended up like, and yeah, you just go hybrid. But wait, why are why are we always going hybrid right now? So let's also take a look at the builds. Some melee outliers. This is some of the bigger performance I've seen. Corrupted Millstorm, we're hard to place here. Uh, lever Sweep, also hard um, in between. Feral Cats, not many of them, but the ones that are, they are very strong. Double Down, Dark Intent builds, also very popular, hybrid build. Paladins, the the one strength build we have and have a lot of, but hybrid again. So really want to dive in on the uh, also uh, single minded fury. Have a have a few of them I've seen, but often they are hybrid and not pure strength. So why is that? We have the node qu mental quickness. So basically, it's like you are. Basically, it's like your uh, intellect allocation, but it's only twenty five percent less power but it's just so strong that you get both this capstone and all of the scaling and the scaling from attack power. And since we have the um, the scaling uh, that changed, it's also one of the reasons why this is so strong. Uh, put this down here because Single Minded Fury can both be played as a hateful strike, one of the options, but more on that another time, and Storm Guard for more spell power scaling. And this is what I meant with the spell power. So now all spells, most abilities scale from both attack power and spell power. So why go either pure caster or pure strength attack power if you can just go both and get the most power for like your piece of equipment. Uh, also gonna mention some, when I talk about like good outliers and why spell casts are strong, this is some of the stronger ones I've seen, the builds that can pull everything, not easily, but between 10 to 20K DPS. This is the one I've seen uh, mostly top the meters uh, in the runs I've done. I mean, I'm raiding in a guild, so some of my like views are often based on the, the few people that are raiding there. But also in other pucks, I've seen most of these builds out there. And why are we seeing so much spell casters? I mean, most of uh, the reason I would <laughs> get uh, give the blame to these crit nodes because it's so easy to get the spell power scaling and the crit scaling going for spellcaster because you can hit any of these eight and you get all of your crit damage uh, compared to 150% normal. And you get, if you uh, f fully roll, you get the capstones and most of these, can you can, actually, um, you can even uh, combine them. Spell power vengeance, very strong combo if you are in that and you can get your mana down. And what do melee have to get the construct? If I ask you to even mention one of these before I showed you, you're probably like, uh, what do melee even have to scale crit? Not that much. I mean, Prey on the Week are for uh, all of them, and then there's the rest. But yeah, uh, so 
to even scale your warrior build for a start, you really just need to roll impale. And if you don't, you are in a very, very bad position. Also because most builds now to get to that like 10k, 15, 20k DPS mark that like really in game people are and, and want to, you don't have to get there, but many people want to get there. Well, you, you have to have impale and you have to hit that. You have to hit one specific talent compared to hitting uh, what eight different ones. So a lot of uh, reason uh, there. I mean, this is the same going for spell hybrid, I guess, but yeah, uh, for at least for the issue with pure strength. Also for rogue users, I mean, we have some energy users like the cats, we have sinister strike double down, but the energy, uh, like for spell casters, you can most of the time cut your two or three legendaries and then you can cut like three different damage outputs. But if you're doing a melee build, you either have to choose your legendaries, maybe two, and then you have to start rolling your energy region or you have to like spend your cards on it and then you don't have damage. So you have to like hardline, like choose, are you <laughs> getting the energy or just planning on rolling it? So, and the more you have to roll, the harder it is to roll the build and the less you see the build because it's harder to roll. It would be my uh, observation for it. And yeah, outliers are double down and the cat. So let's take a look at how a pure strength build can even start scaling the build. There are also attack power, but more on that in the next slide. And we also have some strength increased, but this is uh, common for all uh, stats. So yeah, there is not much. Uh, I could find these four, maybe I missed one. Uh, bad napkin math, I think it's 25 maybe. But yeah, not much. Also, you can scale attack power. The, these two nodes, maybe there's one or two more and you have true shot. You also have aspect of the beast. I didn't, I forgot to put it here. And then for the contrast, let's look at intellect, what we are <laughs> rolling with. So all of the percent increases and all of these nodes, I know cru cruelty had crit on it as well, but all of these nodes have like inbuilt crit chance or some nice benefit. And yeah, you like baseline, you get 38, like not baseline, you have to roll them, of course, but this is what you, you can end up with your build. And there are so many of them, so, and, and very strong, so uh, good chances to roll it. And also uh, low levels, so a uh, lot of uh, uh, like spaced out of the time where you can roll them and the attributes. So why scale intellect as a caster? Uh, the payout, pay, payoff? Uh, is uh, that you get spell power from your intellect. The the free one is the Lunar Guidance from your uh, enchants. And then you have the, the two very strong talents. And even uh, after, uh, or with the inscaling, you also get the crit. You also get crit from just having intellect. And so you also get the power, like if you compare it with strength, strength just get the power. This also gives you the crit. 6% crit baseline from two talents, if you have them, of course. And you get 6% crit of intellect uh, if you have mental strength. And you can, if you combine mental strength and you're even rolling like molten armor, then you're looking at 11% of your intellect as a, as a crit, very strong. Uh, also, uh, so right now we are in tier one, one and a half, almost black wing layers coming out. So right now we're looking at the tier one sets and we have like Arcanist Rope, very strong intellect uh, payoff again. And soon when the Temple is coming out, we will have an even stronger one because then you can have only a free set to get such a strong uh, modifier and you can even combine it with um, any M plus set. To put it in perspective, what does uh, String have for their all, if they get all of the talents, they get 25. They get some benefit from being strength, pure strength from chance to get strength. Not, uh, only a chance, I don't know what the chance are, but really have to be good. Uh, tier two, what are we working with here? We're working with 6% uh, of your strength as crit, some modifiers that are okay. Also again, a chance. And so 2.5 should be pretty good. Uh, crit hit. Like if you compare it to the intellect one, 5% intellect and 5% uh, spell power of your intellect. S strength doesn't really have many payoff, a again, for, for going this, compared to what they have to roll and stuff, uh, from my observations. 
And something else I want to mention, the all of the, the big stances for spellcasters. Melee doesn't really have like something that correlates. So these were so strong because they were uh, bind to, you had to pick them or another epic and the power level were like five to 10% damage from the epic in most cases, unless it was built around. So, and you also could just choose Moonkin, but now you don't even have to, like it's not binded to, you have to pick between it. You can just also have any of these uh, three like big stances and Moonkin is just like kind of lackluster now. You get 3% crit from being Moonkin and you have to spend your like like three percent crit compared to this, and this buff it doesn't even stack. So why not just have one talent point and you get all of the benefit from Moonkin basically? And mana is again not really needed. Bosses die too fast to mana being an issue, at least in most cases. So so let's compare it again for melee. What are the the other ones? So we get a lot of armor penetration for battle stance and battle stance like for a level one ability that is free, that is pretty good. So good option for pure strength, would say. And also Berserker stance is 5% crit and there's an upside for getting the talent. So when you compare to spellcasters, at least melee and pure strength had that one thing going for it that you can just, just pick a battle stance at level one if you don't have to pick anything else if you're not uh, like a very heavy uh, crit build where you need uh, the Berserker stance. What else to start scale your like strength build, like those talents, and then we're also looking at, you have to roll your very specific modifier for your build. Uh, put any melee build what, uh, yeah, specific, if you need to scale it with models, model strike modifiers and stuff, you have to roll that. But besides that, you also kind of need to roll at least some of the armor penetration to get your build rolling and have good gear so and again for the crit modifiers and this is where i come in this is where I'm almost at the conclusion this is my idea i'm going to put in for the video so it's hard to say how to fix pure strength maybe pure strength will just fix itself and more people would play it in later on when they are better gear, but are we really looking at next gear maybe for pure strength to be viable or even TBC. So, and yeah, so just the one of the issues I've seen at least is the, the crit damage ones that you have to roll the specific one. So maybe don't make them say specific like warrior, cat form, uh, shaman stuff. Maybe make them global, maybe make them stack. That would probably be too strong. So maybe make them have capstones. Capstones is also a discussion for another video. Capstones right now is in an odd place because the power gap between a talent with capstone and not, not having the capstone are so huge when you are like having to roll your talent. Another video discussion. But that was my idea for how could maybe, what could maybe improve pure agility, pure strength. But let me hear yours uh, opinions in the comments. And yeah, so my conclusion is strength bad. It, it's hard to say. I mean, I haven't seen that many of them. So maybe they're just <laughs> built in rogue builds and very good at stealthing around. Um, maybe I'm just in the wrong, uh, wrong guild, wrong raids to not see them. And maybe spellcasters are just outshadowing them. But maybe that is also an issue. Mm, so what could my conclusion be? I mean, if you can't beat them, test them. That is not the right saying, but uh, I'm going to try strength. Not in the like one next week, the next two weeks. I have a lot of video plans coming out, but pure strength has been one of the bills I have been really trying to, I want to try to play at some point. And when somebody say, well, this build is not that viable, well, heck, I'm going to give it a chance to try it out and see if I can make it work. And this season is a very good uh, time to do it and to get it out there. If And then my conclusion can at that point maybe be, well, OK, that is very hard to pull off because it needs so much to get going. So we can take that at that point. But yeah, um, I'm intrigued to test it out. And I don't think I have more clever stuff to say. I mean, this is this is gonna be open and that, that was the purpose and yeah gonna leave it to the comments I uh, hope you want to take it up and see uh, what your opinion are about the uh, pure strength maybe pure agility 
users. Yeah, thanks for watching. I have some very nice builds coming out. If you don't want to miss my, I think I have a part four of Wildems coming out. I have a nature healer build guide coming out, uh, everything around nature healing. I'm going to try and make a build guide around. And my melee beginner guide. My melee build guide are probably going to get postponed until I find a good solution to not just say use fill infused weapon or use uh, mental quickness for all of your builds. And that is just how it is right now, unless I can get more testing for pure strength. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.